Okay, so this uh, next video lecture is still the continuation of our module 3 cost accounting cycle. So we are now in the types of inventory used to prepare the cost of goods sold. So basically this is for a manufacturing type of business. So we mentioned this actually in our previous video lecture. So we have here the raw materials, work in process, and finished goods. So basically these are the three main uh, inventories for our cost of goods sold. For raw materials, so these are the materials basically that are used okay, in turning inventory into a finished goods. So this is uh, what the entity is using okay, to create or to produce their product so for example we have the leather to make the belts okay so or if you are selling artificial flowers for your internal uh, interior design business or the cotton used would be considered raw materials again these are the uh, the components okay that is being used for producing a product so, what about work in process? Here, work in process, this is an inventory that is being worked on. Meaning, um, these are the raw materials that were already started. Okay? Or the entity has started working on it, but uh, it was not yet finished at the end of the accounting period. So, just like the name, uh, just like its name okay which is work in progress or work in process in other terms okay so it's still unfinished items okay so for a cost perspective your work in process includes of course our raw materials labor and overhead costs so think of inventory under this category as being part of the bigger end product picture but again these are still unfinished okay so for example if you sell media equipment the packaging would be considered work in process if that is not still incorporated or uh, in the product so that's because the in uh that's because okay this uh, medical equipment cannot be sold to the consumer until it is stored in proper packaging because packaging also plays an important uh, part okay, in the, the product. Okay, of course, this will serve as a protection and for um, uh, for protection, I mean for damage and any spoilage okay, upon its uh, storage or storing and uh, distribution okay so it's literally a work in progress still again when you think or of work in progress or work in process these are the um, raw materials plus the labor or the transformation of the elements of production um, that is not yet, yet uh, that is not yet finished okay and of course, lastly is our finished goods. So these are the most straightforward of all inventory types because these are already uh, goods that are red readily saleable. Okay, so those are finished goods which you already uh, listed for sale. For example, if you are using your website, okay, as a store, is electronic store. Okay, so any product that is ready to be sold for your customer will fall under our finished goods inventory category. So those are the different uh, types of inventory that we use in preparing our cost of goods sold. So in this video lecture, we will continue with the preparation of the cost of goods sold statement. So uh, in preparing the cost of goods sold, uh, there are different sections and in this uh, uh, in this discussion first we will discuss about the statement of cost of goods manufactured as part of the cost of goods sold statement so we have meaning before going to the cost of goods sold we have to go through cost of goods manufactured first 
Okay? So, in a manufacturing type of business, the statement of cost of manufactured, uh, the purpose of this is it supports our cost of goods sold figure on the income statement. So, the two most important numbers on this statement are your total manufacturing cost and your cost of goods manufactured. So, therefore, we have to be very careful not to confuse these terms, okay? Because total manufacturing cost uh, and cost of goods manufactured will have their own key item with, within our cost of goods sold statement. So, as we go along, you will understand. Okay, what's the difference between this total manufacturing cost and the cost of goods manufactured? Okay, so when we say total manufacturing cost, basically, this is what we have talk, been talking about before, that it includes your costs of all the resources that were put into production during the period. So meaning, again, when we say total manufacturing cost, this pertains or includes our direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. Okay? While a cost of goods manufactured, on the other hand, this is uh, an item or light item which consists of the cost of all goods completed during the period. So basically, your cost of goods manufactured includes your total manufacturing costs. Plus, we will incorporate here your beginning and ending work in process. Okay, so that is the main difference between a total manufacturing cost and cost of goods manufactured. Again, uh, your total manufacturing cost is part of your cost of goods manufactured. We, we will just add to the total manufacturing cost our beginning work in process and deduct the ending work in process to get our cost of goods manufactured. But again, total manufacturing cost is the sum of our direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. Okay, for the cost of goods sold, on the other hand, these are the costs of all the goods that were sold during the period, which includes our cost of goods manufactured plus the beginning finished goods inventory minus the ending finished goods inventory. So this is our cost of goods sold already. If you could, uh, or if you could analyze or state in simple terms, your cost of goods manufactured is your raw materials plus your work in process, while cost of goods sold is the um, compilation already of all the three uh, inventories. Meaning, for cost of goods sold. We have here the raw materials, the work in process, as well as the finished goods inventory. But again, this will only pertain to those items which were already sold during the period. Okay. So, cost of goods sold, this is reported again as an expense and deduction okay, from in our income statement. And it's only time product costs are expensed, meaning uh, these are just related again to those inventory that were sold during the period. So we have here the chart of that summarizes the formula that we will need okay, in preparing the cost of goods sold statement. For our direct materials used, so this is the formula that you can follow beginning raw materials inventory plus raw materials purchases minus ending raw materials inventory minus their indirect materials used okay but normally your in indirect materials used um 
this is part of your factory overhead later on okay but this is just to illustrate how to uh, compute for your direct materials used and for your total manufacturing cost of course this is direct materials used plus direct labor plus overhead or factory overhead okay for cost of goods manufactured total manufacturing costs Okay, of course, those are your direct materials, direct labor, and overhead, plus beginning work in process minus work in ending work in process. Okay, and ultimately for our cost of goods sold, uh, this is cost of goods manufactured plus beginning invent uh, beginning finished goods inventory minus ending finished goods inventory. Okay, so this is just the summary. Okay, of the formula that we can use. So, to understand better on how to prepare our cost of goods sold statement, so we have here an illustration. So, for far side manufacturing, they make calendars and books. So, they have here their schedule for their cost of goods manufactured. Okay, so using our formula. So, for the direct materials used, we have raw materials beginning plus raw materials purchases minus the ending materials inventory. So that is uh, our raw materials used. Okay, so that is equivalent to 490,000. In this case, they do not have any indirect materials used. Okay, so your direct materials used is equal to 490. And then we will just add the direct labor Okay, of 380 as well as your factory overhead. So for our factory overhead, these are all indirect labor and indirect materials. So these are the items which are included. So you have your indirect labor, maintenance and repairs, factory utilities, depreciation for building and equipment, other expense. So your total manufacturing overhead is 260. So we will add these three items, direct materials used, direct labor, and factory overhead so, your total manufacturing cost is 1130000 And then, uh, we will add the beginning work in process of 30000 And we will deduct the ending work in process inventory. So, your cost of goods manufactured is 1100000 So, this is for the cost of goods manufactured. Okay, so this is just the explanation. Okay which I have mentioned also. Okay, now we go to the preparation of our income statement for the manufacturing company. So again, please take note of the heading. So we have here the sales figure. Then we will deduct cost of goods sold. So your cost of goods sold is presented right here. So your finished goods inventory, we will add the cost of goods manufactured. Okay, so the, the sum of these items are called cost of goods available for sale. And then we will deduct the finished goods inventory ending balance of 60,000. So our cost of goods sold is 1,090,000. So please take note that in this case, your cost of, good, uh, cost of goods manufactured of 1,100,000 is taken from our uh, statement of cost of goods manufactured right here. Okay. So this is what we use uh, in this figure. Okay, so cost uh, sales of 1.8 less your cost of goods sold of 1,090,000. So our gross margin is 710,000. And then after that, your other operating expenses will as well be deducted to get your income from operations or net income or net profit. So this is how an income statement for a manufacturing company looks like. Okay, so this is uh, for our preparation of uh, income statement or cost of goods sold in an income statement for a manufacturing firm. Okay, so I think we can proceed with the preparation of FS. Actually, this is presented right here, but we will just focus on the cost of goods sold statement in the income statement. Okay, so we already discussed here this portion right here earlier 
manufacturing firm's financial statement. So basically, the difference from uh, this uh, income statement from the other type of business is that they have their three types of inventory. Okay, the raw materials, work in process, and finished goods. Okay, so to summarize, we have here, this is just uh, the cost of goods sold section okay, of the income statement. So for a manufacturing and merchandising type of business, this is what their cost of goods sold looks like. Okay, so they have uh, the same beginning finished goods inventory I, uh, term or the account title that is used. Okay, so the difference will lie on the next item. For a manufacturing type of business, we will use cost of goods sold manufactured, while for a merchandising type of business, we will use cost of goods purchased. Okay, so uh, there's some the sum of their beginning inventory and cost of goods manufactured or purchased. This is uh, the same goods available for sale for these two uh, entity. And also, they have ending finished goods. Uh, I mean, they have ending inventory, but for a manufacturing type of business, we use the ending finished goods inventory. While for a merchandising type of business, we use the ending inventory merchandise or just ending inventory. Okay, so cost of goods sold okay, or cost of sales okay, can be used for the merchandising type of business. So this is just a summary on how to uh, or in comparing the cost of goods sold section between a manufacturing and merchandising type of business. But the complete uh, preparation of the financial statement, specifically in the income statement for showing the cost of goods sold section is this example. Okay, so those are for the preparation of our cost of goods sold statement.